And next at 10, it was Friday that Memphis police released body cam footage of the fatal beating of Tyree Nichols, sparking protests and renewed calls for an end to police brutality. Protesters in Madison braved the cold today to join activists nationwide in calling for justice for Nichols. Our Braden Ross was there and shares what they're demanding. Say his name! Tyree Nichols! Protesters in Madison braved the cold today to call for one thing. Justice for Tyree Nichols. On Friday, Memphis police released body cam footage of the brutal, deadly beating of 29-year-old Tyree Nichols during a traffic stop. Just immense grief and dread and also anger. It's disgusting. It's completely inhumane. Nobody should be treated that way. Nobody. In response, people across the nation took to the streets to protest. We were out here in 2020 calling for an end to police brutality and racist policing, and it just seems like nothing's really changed, so we're not going to stop talking about it. In Madison, Nichols' death reminded people of another trauma. The, really, the first thing that came to my mind was Tony Robinson and the fact that Matt Kenny is still gainfully employed and supported by the entirety of the Madison Police Department. Robinson was killed by Madison Police in 2015. Matt Kenny, the officer involved, is still on the police force as no criminal charges were filed against him. The struggle for justice for Tyree is the same struggle for justice that we are still fighting for with Tony Robinson. Ultimately, protesters say they hope victims of police brutality get justice and can rest peacefully, remembered for the way they lived rather than how they died. Watch the videos of, of him um, skateboarding and his photography and him just living his life rather than have the memory of Tyree as um, being murdered and killed by police. There is a sense of anger there that I don't want us to lose. Um, but also so I think it's, it's so important to understand that it, this isn't just the name. There was a life that was taken here. For News 3 Now, I'm Brayden Ross.